Anton syndrome is a rare condition found in patients who have lost their vision after brain damage to the occipital lobe. One of the hallmark features of Anton syndrome is that these patients do not realize that they are actually blind when they already have lost their vision, which is amusing. Like, if you handed them an object and asked them what it was, they would confidently respond with a guess. Even if they are incorrect, they would act as if it was the proper answer. When you ask them to describe what they're seeing, they'll concoct an entire visual scene for you. They are not lying to you, despite their perplexing actions. Their brain is simply unable to figure out that they are blind. So, what exactly happens in our brain during this unusual but extremely mysterious syndrome, what causes it, and how to get rid of it? Let's get started. Anton syndrome is caused by damage to the brain in the occipital lobe, which is in the back of the brain. The occipital lobe allows you to see as well as interpret what you're seeing. One of the main causes of Anton syndrome is a stroke. This is a medical emergency where blood flow to the brain is interrupted by a ruptured artery or a blood clot. When any part of the brain is deprived of oxygen, brain cells in that area begin to die. When the occipital lobes of the brain are completely affected by a stroke, the end result is a phenomenon called cortical blindness. Cortical refers to damage in the brain's visual cortex in the occipital lobe. When damage to the occipital lobe causes blindness, it could also result in Anton syndrome. However, Anton syndrome is considered a rare condition. While stroke is the most common cause of Anton syndrome, it can occur with other conditions that cause damage to the occipital lobe. These include trauma, multiple sclerosis, hypertensive encephalopathy, and brain tumors. Now, let's have a look at diagnostic factor in Anton syndrome. Your doctor will most likely begin with a physical examination to help diagnose your problem. Doctors might test your ability to follow a light. They'll ask you about your vision to determine how conscious you are of your vision loss. If they suspect Anton syndrome, they'll probably conduct imaging studies to check for occipital lobe injury. A CT brain or MRI can be done. Now, let's have a look at the treatment option. The etiology of occipital lobe injury will determine how Anton syndrome is treated. In rare situations of multiple sclerosis causing brain damage, for example, treatment will focus on alleviating MS symptoms. Methylprednisolone may be given intravenously. If Anton syndrome was caused by a stroke, therapy would focus on preventing another stroke from causing more damage. This may include medications, such as daily aspirin or statins, and managing risk factors such as blood pressure and glucose levels. While improvement of Anton syndrome is less likely after having a stroke, treatment will likely focus on preventing future cardiovascular events. We have seen causes, diagnostic approach and treatment options of Anton syndrome. To learn more about different types of rare and mysterious syndromes, please subscribe and support us. Thank you.